sometimes we want to extend or change or alter the functionality that MediaWiki offers. We have several ways we can uh, do that. Um, we have user scripts, gadgets, beta features, extensions, and external tools. I'll highlight some of them. Uh, a user script is something you can add in your preferences. It's quite hard to do, so most users will probably won't do it. Um, it's easier if someone else does it for you. And those are the gadgets. If you go to any of uh, the wikis we have, uh, you'll uh, see in your preferences, if you go to uh, the gadget tab, there will be a whole list of all sorts of nice tools. Uh, if you're new to a wiki, uh, or just haven't looked there for a while, be sure to check it out because there's lots of fun and useful stuff in there. It's a lot of things are focused on, on power users to make uh, processes easier. So for example, on comments, we like to nominate things for deletion. So you have a gadget to make that easier. Um, another uh, thing that uh, is really interesting is the, the beta features. You can also enable them from your uh, preferences. These are new features that uh, are currently being developed and are in a testing phase. So you can enable that, you can play around with it and um, provide feedback. Uh, I'll highlight uh, a couple of them in my talk. Um, Tools and extensions is a really, really broad subject. So I decided to approach this a bit as uh, a tasting. Earlier this week, we uh, went uh, for a nice dinner, and this was the, the cheeses we could choose from. There's too many cheeses, so you can't get all of them. And it's the same with uh, the tools and extensions. I'm uh, just highlighting some of them. First, we have a couple of extensions that are focused on making communication easier. Uh, one of them is, uh, is Echo. Uh, it will notify you of events that happen that are in of interest to you. Uh, we currently just enabled the global notifications. I'm not sure if it's on enabled for everyone now, but that means that if someone leaves you a message, say, on the Dutch Wikipedia, and you log into comments, you get a notification like, hey, you got a message on the other wiki. Very useful if you're multilingual like I am and active on multiple projects. So um, for example, here, uh, uh, Sandra responded to, to something, or if someone likes uh, an edit, you did. Another extension to make communication easier is, uh, is Flow. Uh, user talk pages um, can be quite complicated. Um, just maybe a, a, sh a show of hands. Uh, who of you is like, really active on some of the projects? Uh, like edits uh, a lot? And does anyone of you already enable uh, Flow on your talk page? I see some hands. It's not possible on every project yet, but um, you don't have to, you know, sign with the the, the, the cr crazy characters. You don't have to use wiki text. It's just it, it's more like a message board. It makes it easier for others to communicate with you. Um, this extension is quite recent. It's, it's the global user page. Uh, for the last couple of years, every year there was a new Wikimania wiki. I had to go to the wiki, click on my username in the top right, create a user page saying, hey, I'm Martin. I no longer need to do that. Now uh, you can just go to, to Meta, uh, the, the community site, create a user page. I did that here, or updated it. And once you go to the Wikimania Mania meeting, uh, wiki, you'll see that it's the same page, and it's says at the bottom, like, OK, this is copied uh, from the, the central one. Um, makes it easier for people to find out who you are, especially if you do an edit on a project that you don't go to very often. Um, talking about uh, communication, one of the things is that you would like to know, if you're conversing with people, what languages they actually understand. Uh, the the Babel boxes are the things you see on the, the top right. They've been around as long as I can remember, but they were turned into an extension. So I highlighted here in red. 
Uh, and slowly the software is starting to use this information. So if you put this on Wikidata on your user page, uh, in my case, this will show the interface in Dutch, English, uh, German, and French. Uh, on Commons, it's slowly being used, and so for multilingual projects, this is a fun little trick uh, to make it easier to work with a project. Um, I'm not sure how much is being used on Commons right now, but I think they're slowly introducing it. Uh, uh, for example, if you're uh, on a page that has all the translations in tens of languages, it will just show it in languages you selected here. That's quite convenient. Then to uh, visualizations. Um, in the past, if you wanted to make a, uh, a graph or a, some kind of diagram or whatever, you would open your favorite editor uh, and you would make an image, you would upload it to the comments, uh, you would add it to the page, and then something changes and you had to do the process all over again. So quite recently, uh, the, the graph extension was introduced. With that, um, you, you can include graphs. This is just a simple line diagram, but there are all sorts of types in there. And you can include it in your wiki to show uh, relevant information. So for example, this is the gross domestic product, I think of uh, Finland, right? Or, yeah, Finnish. And um, it makes it much easier to illustrate your, uh, your wiki articles. There are even some tricks that it will get the information from, uh, from other sources, like the graph extension is also used for to see uh, page view statistics. Uh, so in some wikis, if you look at the page information, you'll see a graph about how often the page is actually viewed by someone. And one of the things Wikipedians like is maps. So we have definitely all sorts of different extensions about that. Um, the most, f I really like this uh, feature, the nearby feature. It's, it was intended for mobile when you're on your mobile phone, say, show me articles nearby. But uh, it also works on your laptop. So this was me at uh, the school asking what's nearby. So the museum, the, the village we are right now, one of the churches, not sure which one is this, because I've seen three of them. And uh, you can click on that, you see a photo and all sorts. This is a bit of an older one, the, the geo hack. If you uh, look on uh, one of the bigger Wikipedias and you go to an article that has coordinates, you'll see uh, uh, an icon on the top right with, uh, with the globe and will link you here. Um, it links to all sorts of tools to show uh, that point uh, on the map. Uh, you can do Google Maps, OpenStreetMaps, and or I don't know, maybe you're a fan of Bing Maps or Apple Maps, it's all, uh, it's all in there. But yeah, it's still external and you have to click, click, click. So someone made the Wiki Mini Atlas. That's already more fun. It's, uh, uh, this is uh, an article about this village and uh, I enabled the Atlas so I could click on the top right and I get a nice map of um, the whole uh, village and some more information. Now we're getting somewhere. There's, so quite recently, someone thought like, oh, this is nice, it's all these external tools. Wouldn't it be nicer to be able to embed some of the maps into Wikipedia articles? I think that wish has been around for at least 10 to 15 years. So uh, that's uh, an extension called Cartographer. Uh, it's developed by, uh, uh, Yuri, and he makes it possible to embed maps based on OpenStreetMap into your Wikipedia article. So uh, this is fair, fairly recent. I think it was announced in the last two weeks. So I don't know how it will scale or how uh, stable it is, but it, this uh, is an example of San Francisco with a number of waypoints and uh, you can click it and you would go to the, uh, to the relevant article. Uh, this is already live on, the, on a couple of wikis. So most of the things I, I've shown are um, extensions that are, live on Wikipedia. We also, uh, 
uh, have two labs that's uh, also maintained by the Wikimedia Foundation, but it's separate from our main infrastructure. And uh, to be able to use tools there and to have them edit on your behalf, uh, there's a feature called OAuth. Uh, you might have seen that on other sites where you can log in with your Google account or your Facebook account. It's similar to that. So you can go to two labs. Uh, it asks you, can you please authenticate yourself? You, you see this on, uh, in this case, it's on mediawiki.org. And then the tool can make edits on your behalf. We have, uh, especially for Wikidata, you have lots of games and other things uh, where you get options and uh, you click on yes and the tool will do the edit on your behalf. And you're almost like a robot then. Um, how many people know the multimedia viewer? It's, to be honest, did anyone disable it or did you enable it? Because it's a bit a contentious uh, subject. Uh, it, it's a nice way to uh, show an image without all the clutter that uh, Commons has. Um, but someone also made some other extensions to that. The, the zoom viewer. We have lots of high resolution uh, images, or this in this case of, of a painting. And uh, with the zoom viewer, you can uh, zoom in really deep. So if you look to the right, there's a, you can zoom all the way in and uh, browse around, uh, turn it around. So this is the, I don't know, I think it's a donkey or a horse. I'm not sure <laughs> what it is. And you can see to the top right where we are in the image. Uh, so at the hackathon uh, earlier this weekend, uh, I think also the 3D feature was added to it. It's, it's a similar kind of viewer. And maybe in the future this will be uh, part of the, our sites itself. Because now it's an external tool on two labs. It's how a lot of things start. First as a separate tool on two labs and slowly it integrates into the, to the main site. Um, visual editor. It, it's... Uh, uh, how many people actually use the visual editor here? Because I see, uh, I, I see quite a, a few familiar faces. Uh, so a visual editor has been under very active development uh, and, uh, for the last couple of years. And one of the nice features uh, that was added was Cytoid. It's a, a tool you can put in a, a URL and it will uh, generate the citation for you. If you ever try to make citations, you know that it's, it's, it's a pain making them. You have to fill out all these fields. Uh, when did I retrieve an article? When was it published? Which, uh, which are the authors? Those kind of things. Uh, for this tool tries to take care of that for you and do that in a standardized format. Um, makes life a lot easier if, uh, if you want to write really good articles. Um. The hover cards are also uh, uh, something to make it easier to wander around Wikipedia. It's, uh, it's I think, a beta feature right now. It's, um, so if you uh, enable it and you hover over a blue link, uh, you will see more information. You see the introduction of the article. Uh, it's, uh, it will show an image uh, also when it was edit, edited the last time, and you can just uh, move around and uh, without having to click things, see uh, what is, uh, it is about. I think it will work mostly on, on any wiki by now, even on Wikidata, you can use it to go over uh, items to get more information. But, uh, and another uh, one that, that was actually new to me, who of you already knew this extension, related pages? It's, it's fairly new, it will suggest three pages on every article you open that are related. And uh, so I think there should be some logic in there that some of the articles are uh, like high traffic and lots of people see it and uh, some are uh, a bit uh, less well known. So you have one to, uh, to uh, extend. Uh, now to the bit more advanced tools. One of the things uh, as an editor, uh, we love lists. We want to have lists of things to work on. 
we want to know uh, uh, which women uh, from the Netherlands don't have an article that should have one. And uh, this is one of the tools that tries to combine everything with everything. It's called Petske. It's made by um, Magnus Manske. Um, it's a tool where you can uh, search categories and combine all this information. So you can do crazy questions like, give me all the articles uh, linked from this article and that are in, in some category or don't have images or be crazy, be creative. Uh, y you can get it from that. It's, uh, yes, thank you. It's the, the uh, successor to a, a CAT scan for the people who use that, uh, the CAT scan 1, 2, 3, and now um, CAT scan 4 would be uh, not really covering it. So this is the one you should play around with it if you ever make lists to work on. Um, this one is also quite recent, the page view analytics. Uh, it's uh, this is the one for Asinio Lario. I made it uh, a couple of days ago. And you could easily see that the number of page views suddenly went up when we started coming here. Or probably it was all of us just looking up the article, uh, like wh where are we going? Um, this is uh, available for every, every wiki page. So for every wiki page, you can, uh, you can uh, find out uh, uh, how many hits it gets. Uh, you can filter on date range. Uh, uh, even on platform or agent, so if you want to know how many Apple users are uh, visiting the article you wrote a couple months ago, you, you can do it from here. And there's even a trick that you can em embed this on pages. So uh, if you want to show this on your project page, you can put this in there with the graph extension. Uh, another one I liked uh, a lot, we have a lot of different page counters, but this is uh, the wiki history. I'd I believe it's only available in German right now, but uh, yeah, it starts in German. It might be uh, be used in other languages too. Um, so we have so many tools that we started the tool to index all the tools. This is a uh, highest tool directory. I see many people with laptops look this one up. Bookmark it. If you ever uh, write a tool on Tool Labs or somewhere else add it to this directory. It's a really s uh, simple directory where you can, uh, see uh, the tool, the description, and you add some tags to it. So if you want to have all tools related to Wikidata, you just put Wikidata in, or uh, tools by a certain author, uh, you can find it. And uh, this solves our main problem. We have so many cool things out of there, out there that, that we can't ever find them. Uh, some of the tools uh, won't show up in Google for some weird reason. Like if you, uh, I'm not sure if it's still the case, but PET scan on, uh, on Tool Labs, it will just show some blog posts. So put this in your bookmarks and play around with it, search for things, and see if you can find something that you, uh, that you can use and you, you, can li you like. Um, I highlighted a couple of tools, but um, of course, I had some big, big omissions. Which are the ones that I forgot or you have questions about? Any questions or other things? Not all at once. Hi. Um, how about extensions in the mobile version? Because we don't have a lot of that. Uh, yeah, the nearby one is uh, is available in the mobile version, but uh, not a lot of extensions are currently really geared toward mo uh, towards mobile. I guess uh, some of the games on uh, on Wikidata are really focused on mobile. I know some people who are who playing them on their phone in the train. You know, is this a human or not? Yes, no. Yes, no. But. Uh, it seems to be that a lot of the extensions is geared to both desktops or uh, and maybe in the future, I don't know. Uh, ju just a short ask uh, for any tool uh, to be possible to disable it, uh, in the, at, at least at the start. Uh, 
Sorry, 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 can you repeat your question? Uh, if tool is uh, n not uh, outside on uh, tools uh, dot uh, WMF, etc. Yeah. On Toolabs, so, but uh, it's on uh, in incorporated in uh, MediaWiki. Yeah. Then it should be possible to switch off. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, like a med media viewer. Yeah. So with uh, a lot of extensions are at a beta feature, and uh, so then you can turn it off and on. Mm. Uh, gadgets also uh, can be enabled by default, or you can turn it off yourself. Uh, depends a bit uh, on the decision of the community. Uh, the, uh, most communities decided by now that they want to enable certain extensions. Uh, but there will always be different groups of people on the, on the same wiki. Some part of the community will say, I really want this extension enabled by default. And the other part is like, no, I don't want to even see it on my wiki. And that's something for the local community to, uh, to handle. Because uh, media, view, media viewer is a great idea. Yeah. But simply, at first, it was a uh, bad uh, implementation. I, I think uh, people learned from that uh, process. Okay, thanks.